Welcome back, everybody. I hope things are going well for you and your beautiful new baby. Today, I'd like to share some nuggets with you to help with where and how your newborn should sleep. And when I mean newborns, I'm referring to those zero to three month olds. Number one, your baby should sleep in your room in something like a crib or a bassinet. The American Academy of Pediatrics strongly recommends that a new baby sleep in a room with a parent. However, they don't recommend that a baby co-sleep in your bed for safety reasons. Number two, you need to keep the temperature nice and cool between 68 and 71 degrees. Newborn babies aren't able to regulate their own temperature yet, so it's really important to keep the room nice and cool. Number three, light clothing. I recommend dressing your baby in one layer of clothing underneath their swaddle for sleep. If you want to check your baby's core temperature, you can take your fingers and place it on the back of their neck, and if it's warm and sticky, the baby's probably too warm. But if you touch the back of their neck and it's cool and smooth, your baby's probably at a great temperature that's perfect for sleep. Number four, a white noise machine. It is like magic. When the baby was in the womb, it was super noisy. They could hear heart beating, and they could hear the digestive system, and amniotic fluid. It was really noisy for them. But when a baby is born and it's time to sleep, everyone is tiptoeing and saying, shh, the baby's sleeping, be quiet. But in actuality, it's really hard for babies to sleep when it's quiet because they're used to a noisy environment. So in order to turn on their calming reflex, you actually need a white noise machine but don't use a monotone sound. You want to use one where the pitches and the rhythms and the sounds are kind of changing and they kind of ebb and flow to really mimic and replay what the womb was like for the baby. It will definitely help with sleep. Number five, air circulating really helps the baby. I recommend putting it somewhere around the height of where they sleep, not blowing right on them, but you kind of place a fan up on a dresser or on a countertop and have it kind of moving around the height of the bassinet or the crib where the baby is sleeping. Number six, your baby should sleep in a bear crib. That means no stuffed animals, no toys, no pillows, and no blankets. The American Academy of Pediatrics strongly recommends that a baby sleep in a bear sleeping environment. This will really reduce their chances for SIDS and suffocation. It's the best and safest way for your baby to sleep. And finally, babies should be placed on their backs for sleep. In my generation, we were put down on our tummies for sleep. But now, the American Academy of Pediatrics states that babies should be placed on their backs for sleep to really reduce the chances for SIDS and help keep your baby safe. So there you have it, my nuggets on where and how your newborn should sleep. These really helped my family and I hope that they help yours too. I'll see you next time.